So I've been doing a bit more like cleaning up and experimenting with the various parts of the laser cutter and well mainly with the bed because I'm heading back up to Cairns in about three or less than three weeks now and there I don't have a welder so I need to sort of be able to have most of the well the stuff that needs to be welded mechanical stuff together so really the bed is the only sort of other mechanical thing that I won't really be able to do without a welder but um, I sort of I needed to get some uh, mounts made up for the bed to hold some bearings at top and bottom for the threaded rod and also a block that holds the nut that goes up and down on the threaded rod and I was going to get those milled out of aluminium but you know, the person I was going through has got uni and all that so um, I sort of decided to try it out myself with a bit of acrylic and just cutting out multiple layers and well this is actually it's not I don't think it's pure acrylic because it does sort of a different smell when I was cutting it it's actually an LCD backlight panel so it's got these little perforations on it so this one I tried to glue and as you can see it didn't really work very well but yeah oops, probably doesn't even need glue so yeah that's the one that holds the nut there Goes in. Yeah. and I have screws there originally I was going to have washers that sort of hold the nut in but the thing is this will be mounted upside down anyway with the bed sitting on top here so realistically these nuts will be on the threaded rods so all these have to do is really sit on top and they'll just sit on top like that and the play doesn't matter because I'm going to have proper proper linear bearings and rods on the corners and those will just be to drive it up and down so you know these these won't be providing the main stability these are just purely for up and down <coughs> and this one is just told the bearing basically um, the rods I'm using are just uh, I think they're half inch inner, inner diameter threaded rod just from Bunnings and there's just the matching nut to go with it so yeah that's just held in there the bottom bit's slightly smaller size I'm just held in there with them with the uh, screws and washers. See, so, yeah, I need to get uh, this is sort of the only real sort of size acrylic stuff I've got, and I need to be able to make eight of these, and four of these. So, probably going to have to go to Bunnings and get some a sheet of acrylic. Um, don't really like getting it from Bunnings because it's expensive. It's about sixty bucks for a twelve hundred by a nine hundred sheet, three mil thick, which is a bit. You know, a bit ridiculous I think but you know, I can't don't really have any other options so yeah I suppose I'm just gonna have to do that but apart from that <coughs> sort of just been starting to clean up the wiring a bit I'm just putting some of this cable wrap stuff on it um, also cleaned up in here a fair bit too just putting cable wrap on all the stuff that needs to go wherever and cleaning up the mains cables temporarily so eventually I'll probably get some of those little sticky uh, zip tie mount things and stick them on there and you can lock the cable in with zip ties because this is going to have an outer panel mounted on it I can't really have anything on the outside of these bars otherwise it'll just get jammed but apart from that it's basically all I've done um, tomorrow I'm expecting a 240mm water radiator so I can get rid of that pot and turn it into a sealed system um, also expecting two more stepper motor drivers as well as a, uh, a uh, current meter for the CO2 laser just sort of really unneeded but you know good to have stuff just make sure I'm not overdriving the laser too much um, yeah with the radiator I found these these lasers sort of prefer running at lower temperatures so down here it's not too bad because sort of during the day around this time of year it's about you know 15 degrees and that's pretty good I mean that water doesn't even get warm really but up in Cairns where the day temperatures are probably be more around 32 you know average um, I might have to see if the laser sort of loses any performance at that temperature and if it does I have this um, it's a 
I've shown it in my one of my previous videos anyway, but it's just a I think one tenth horsepower uh, aquarium water chiller. So <clears throat> if the radiator doesn't end up being able to cool it down enough in cans, I'll just maybe add sort of like a bypass valve so it can go through the radiator or I can switch it and then have the water cooling unit. But yeah, I suppose we'll just get some acrylic this afternoon, maybe and cut up some more of these mounts. I'm pretty sure they should be able to handle the weight. I mean, this is six mil stuff here. Well, I think it's, oops, I think it's six mil. But, you know, it's, the bed's not really gonna weigh all that much, really. It's just gonna be like two, two steel frames with a bit of aluminum egg crate on top. So, you know, only talking probably maybe 10 kilos all up distributed between four of these and eight of these so I think acrylic will do just fine um, if not well at least I have sort of a solid version of the mount and I can design the bed around this so I can put these on and put the uh, linear bearings on as well design the bed and then if these end up being too weak well I can just get them made out of aluminium as they are and they'll just go directly in so kind of just a temporary measure but if it ends up working there's not really any need to replace them and they look kind of cool too they look pretty cool when they're all clear acrylic yeah it's great being able to sort of make things like these just draw them up in solid works load in the file and cut them out in layers and that's sort of the main reason I built this is for cutting acrylic because I love acrylic it's just a shame it's so expensive and these are sort of the only little just scraps I've got and half of this is just bent. Yeah. But anyway, I'll uh maybe I'll do a video of cutting out those mounts if I get a bit more acrylic. Uh, it's quite cool watching cut acrylic, but it does stink pretty bad, so you've got to make sure you have a bit of ventilation. Eventually this whole thing will just be sealed off with um I'm not sure what I'll use yet, but and then it'll be under vacuum so any smoke that gets generated in here will always go out with a blower fan and you can sort of pipe it outside or you know into a filtering system or whatever you want to do with it because <clears throat> you really don't want to be breathing the fumes of this stuff it's pretty nasty MDF's not that great either it's got the resin in it you know stuff like plywood and whatever's okay but you know plastics and that especially things like PVC you really don't want to be breathing that. But yeah. yeah, I think that does it for now. Alright, thanks for watching.